Hi, this is a JSON tutorial, and in this tutorial, we make a AJAX app that will communicate with the uh, server uh, using JSON strings, and the server will respond with the JSON strings. So, uh, JSON is very helpful in AJAX apps. You can use it to store data or do the stuff with AJAX, like uh, we will do in this tutorial. So, first of all, the syntax of JSON. JSON actually inherits its syntax from JavaScript objects, as the name signifies. JavaScript object notation. So, uh, what happens is uh, that your JSON string or JSON file should always start with a object literal, or uh, it should start with a array literal, like this. So, we will uh, make an object in this tutorial, and uh, objects uh, in JSON have name and value pairs. So, you have name and then you put colon and you put the value of that name so when you will decode it you will get a member of this object with the name so you can access the value so you put value in quotes if you uh, want it to be a string so you have name and value pair now and uh, to make another name and value pair you put col comma and then you uh, make another name and value pair remember names should be in quotes uh, without quotes PHP gives errors so then we have age again a name and value pair this time value is an integer without quotes and you put common again to name a separate name and uh, a pair so uh, we have another name and value pair this time the value will be a array so array literals we have seen how to write them like this so the members should not have names in arrays so that's for uh, all the case if you start with an array you don't put names for its members so we have something like first value and again we put comma and second value now when we'll decode it we will get an array with two indexes first index that will be zero will give us out first value the second second index that is one will give us out second value so this is how you write JSON uh, uh, script. You can use it to save your, uh, you can uh, use a file and save your data like XML or use it in your Ajax apps. So what we are going to do is we are going to make, uh, first of all, an object, JavaScript object, as we have seen that the syntax is the same. So we are just going to copy paste it. So this is a valid JavaScript object here and uh, we are going to make a string out of this object because in uh, for Ajax uh, developers they know that you cannot send uh, object to server directly so this is where the JSON uh, comes into play and I'm going to use a method from a library stringify stringify and it will take a JavaScript object which is this so the library is this I will put this link in description you can get it we are only going to use two methods from this library so now we have a valid JSON string corresponding to the object we uh, given as a parameter so if I refresh and this is now this looks the same but this is a string now so we have the string we can send it using ajax so var xml http it, this is the formal new xml http xml http request and we will assign a function to our event handler which will handle our response We'll initialize our request using open get will be the method and HTTP localhost slash js slash server.php is our file that we will send request to and we will send the JSON string JSON string and we'll send it using send method null save it so till here when the script will run it will make an object it will convert it using the stringify 
method from our json.js library and uh, when you copy paste the content remember to include it so when we will convert it to string we will send the request using the xml http request object so till here when the script will run it will send the request to our server.php right here so in here we will see if we got the cat request variable json if we got it now we are going to convert it into a php object using that string you can use the json underscore decode function and give it the string json string and it will give you out a valid php object with the name, same members add as the json string so we will have all these members the array the name and the age so we have decoded it into a php object so we can access now the members of this object let's just access the name property and this should give us out to john uh, let's write here michel so this should give us out michel so we come back to our response part and we are just going to check if we got the response if ready state equals four if you don't know about this uh, ajax please watch my ajax tutorials so we are going to alert xml http dot response text text save so this would give our, uh, us uh, the name property. Now this is from the PHP file using Ajax. So this is how you decode your string on PHP, JSON strings. And uh, we are going to do is we are going to convert it into a associative array instead of PHP object. So we can access it like this now. You put name as a index of the array, the property name as an index of the array, and you can access it. If I refresh it, Michelle, let's access the array and access uh, first index. So my R was the array. Save it. This should give us out the first value here. So we come back here and refresh it. Now first value. This is how you decode it, uh, JSON string on PHP. So we have the associative array now yeah, I just write this so you don't get confused this is not an object no more so now we convert the JSON string now uh, using JSON underscore encode you can convert your PHP objects PHP arrays either it is associative array or a numeric array into a JSON string PHP SOS this should give us out a JSON string echo JSON string save refresh so now we got what we sent previously but this is now decoded by uh, encoded by our PHP uh, uh, script so these functions are built in you can use it to decode and encode your JSON string so we can uh, easily manipulate data uh, as we got it as a variable or object so now uh, in this part of the script we received our JSON string from the server now so what we are going to do is convert that into a JSON object uh, JavaScript object using again the function uh, method from this library the json.js library the method is called parse and it takes a JSON string as an argument which is actually the response from the server response text and it will give us out a PHP a JavaScript object this and we can alert the name property js object dot name will give us out the name property refresh and we got Michelle let's access the age now we are going to add it up with five so see uh, we can see that uh, integer operations can be arithmetic operations can be done to uh, integer received by the through JSON so yes integers also work and to access the array you write the name of the array my r and the index so let's access two this should give us out nothing uh, we should write one because one is the second index and it should give us out second 